Okay, this is Book Talk with Corbin. I'm your host. We're going to talk here about three more secrets for any entrepreneur, any entrepreneur in the United States of America. And there are three secrets here that I've really stumbled upon in my 10 years in my own business right now, self employed, chess entrepreneur, I guess you might say. I have my own nonprofit group, the Kentucky Chess Ambassadors. So it pretty much is my, the source of my full-time income. But there are three things I've learned that I really want to pass on to other entrepreneurs. One is cash flow. It's very important to create cash flow. Do it the best way you can. And one of the best ways it's necessary for you to go out there and get a part-time job, do it. Get your part-time job. Work that job. So you have that cash flow. For the longest time, I was doing a part-time gig, and it was great. I was getting paid every week. The manager I had, he's fantastic. He worked with me on my schedule. So I explained to him, I have my own business, it's a nonprofit group, I work with young people. And so he said, fine, I can work with you on that. And he did. I can't complain at all about him. As a matter of fact, I really need to send him something in the way of thanking him. And if you can work a full-time gig and do your own, entrepreneurial thing on the side or you still do your entrepreneurial thing, do that. You need that cash flow. Cash flow is important. And you gotta look at different ways you can get cash flow. For myself, I do a lot of Zoom things, workshops, one on one tutoring, things like that. You gotta increase that cash flow. Maybe you can get a product, sell the product. For nonprofits do a lot of different types of fundraisers. You need that cash flow. Cash flow is important too. Once that money comes in, manage that money properly. Don't just spend it. Manage it. What are your expenses? What are your bills? What are your debts? What are your liabilities? And know that. And know what you need to knock out and when you need to knock it out. Can't knock something out that's important. You need to get on that phone and talk to the person. You might be having a cash flow problem at the time. You need to go in there and negotiate something. But manage your money. you got to learn how to manage your money. It's very, very important. Liabilities, assets. All that stuff. What are your debts? You got to know all that stuff. You got to know that in your head. If you don't want to write it down, then know it in your head. Very important. Manage your money. And then the third thing, save and invest. Save and invest. Not just on a personal level, but on a business level. Save money. You never know what's going to happen. I, for example, got a heard from a client, real good client. They said, oh, we wanted you. They're going to give me a four or six week contract. They can't do it. Things didn't work out for them in their end, so they couldn't do it. Wow, that's lost income for them. Maintain a good relationship with them, not getting upset with them, but it's just the way it is. It just happened. But fortunately, I got some money set aside. I do have an investment account. My business does have an investment account. And it has a savings account, too, but I'm always looking to build it, put more and more into it. So those three things are critical. Cash flow, money management, save and invest. And let me say this again, just to emphasize. A lot of times people want to be entrepreneurs and be self-employed because they hate their job. I can understand that. But let me tell you that. Cash flow is important. Now, if you got to stay at that full-time gig that you hate, you stay with it until your entrepreneurial thing covers, produces at least four times more than what you're currently earning as an employee. If you have to go out and get a part-time job, do it. Cash flow is important. I'm going to say this too. If it's at all possible to get you a job, part-time job that pays you weekly, do it. I don't care what you're doing. Mopping floors, stocking stuff. I don't care. You got to have that cash flow. And as a matter of fact, I would highly recommend that you do something what I would call relatively simple. It's not intellectually taxing. It might be physically taxing, but you're okay. You just go in and stock stuff and leave. While you're doing these things, mopping the floor, cleaning windows or whatever, it does give you an opportunity for you to start giving some thought to your business. Maybe you're having a problem with a client. Maybe you're trying to get more clients. Whatever it might be, cash flow is very important. I want to say that again. Really emphasize that. The money management. Maybe you're not real good with that. I'll get some Dave Ramsey books. Then Save and Invest. Go to my YouTube channel. I interviewed this one guy named Giovanni. He's great. He's put out some great stuff on investing. So go to my YouTube channel, Book Talk with Corbin. My videos will come up and check him out.
He has some great stuff on investing. All right, guys. This is Book Talk with Gordon. I'm your host. And as always, I want to encourage you, please subscribe so I can keep producing videos like this. Please subscribe. Hit the bell notification. And hit the like button. It helps me a great deal. Thank you.